Hey guys, so this is a first video in 2020 and uh, first of all I wanted to say a huge thanks for all of your support and uh, all of your comments, suggestions, feedback and other stuff. So uh, wanted to wish you a happy new year and uh, I really hope and think that there will be much more videos, much more content on this channel that hopefully you like and... Uh, yeah, hopefully you will stick with us here and, and, and do some things. But for the beginning of the new year, uh, let's start with a simple thing, right? We don't want to overcomplicate after all the celebration of the new year. So the topic for today is the aggregated checks. And uh, one of the last video was about a calculated item. So this actually is quite a similar uh, just like in case with the calculated items, the aggregate checks are not actually collecting any data from the hosts. So you are not performing any polling. Those are not working as an active checks. The hosts, uh, um, some connection from the Zabbix server or the proxy to the host is not even touched. So everything is happening on the side of the Zabbix server with the data which was already collected from your host. So to create a aggregated item, you need to go to configuration host. So we'll just click the example, uh, just like usually items, uh, create a new item. And with the type, you need to choose uh, Zabbix aggregate. So this one, and then you do all the magic in the key. We will get to it. So what the aggregated checks actually do. Uh, aggregate checks calculate some value that you want to calculate, may it be the minimal, maximal, or sum, or average from item key that you specify within one or multiple host groups. So right now I have one Zabbix server host, right? And that's the only host in my um, demo installation. And what I will do, I will just uh, clone these hosts, so full clone, Zabbix server one, add, uh, and full clone also this one. Full clone, Zabbix server two. Yes, it doesn't make a big sense like uh, right now because yes, these are three hosts, but still they are collecting the data from one agent, from the agent on my virtual machine here. Uh, but, but we're gonna need it. So first of all, let's take a look. So each of these hosts is inside a host group Linux servers, right? Hosts Zabbix server, two Linux servers, one Linux servers, and the original Zabbix server is also in the Linux servers. And that host group is here. Configuration host groups, if we we'll look for the Linux servers, we see that we have three hosts assigned. And each of these hosts has a key Let's take as example uh, CPU load. So each of these hosts have the key system CPU load on all the cores, which is calculating average per minute. So we have three hosts, which means that we have three items. And aggregated checks can help us to calculate some aggregated data in all the host groups. So we need to create an aggregated item, but um, you might ask like where should I create it and it actually doesn't matter. You can create it in any of these hosts or you can create a new host and call it, uh, let's say, all the aggre aggregated checks and here you could place all the checks from your environment, not only for this group and uh, from the group we will pick, let's say, virtual machines so the host group uh, host doesn't have to be in the same group interface really doesn't matter remember the aggregated checks are working with the data which was already collected so we won't be performing any connections to the host so this doesn't matter but you must leave at least one interface active otherwise you won't be able to create a host so click add and there we go we have aggregated checks and inside this aggregated checks host we can create a new item and call it zabbix aggregate so now a little bit from the documentation so i'll also post the link of this so aggregate checks this is the syntax first of all group function 
and you have a list of all the supported group functions average, maximal, minimal, or sum of the values. Then host group inside which you want to calculate the data and item key from which you want to calculate the data. Then item function where again you have a list of supported item functions like average count, last, max, min, sum, and time period which is used only if you use the correct, not the correct, but uh, required item function. Like let's say if you take a last in the item function, remember from the trigger expressions, it will be just one single value. So the time period doesn't really matter. It will be just one last received value. If you choose the max or count or average, average from what? And then you need to specify time period, which could be, let's say, five minutes. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, it's really only time period, so it's not possible to define a uh, range of the values that you want to take into account, as example with a hash 5. This doesn't work, so only the actual time period in seconds, minutes, or hours as per your need. Uh, then there are just a couple of examples how it looks like in the real life and uh, also an important thing that it is possible to calculate uh, average from multiple host groups. So in our example we'll be doing just one Linux servers with my three cloned Zabbix server hosts but you can also include other host groups if you have them. And remember that each uh, host inside uh, the selected host group that will have this key that you specify here in the aggregated checks will be taken into account. Let's say if in the Linux servers I have 10 hosts and only 5 of them have system CPU load key, then only 5 of them will be included in the group average. The rest of them will be simply ignored. So your item still will be supported, you will be collecting the data, but instead of 10 hosts you will be getting an average of 5 hosts, which kind of makes sense because if you are collecting an average on a host group, it doesn't mean that all of the hosts uh, should have um, the same key. So, getting back to the front end, let's call this uh, this is aggregate check. Yep, whatever. So, type is uh, Zabbix aggregate, key is we can check from the select so which will be giving us the example so we can simply see the syntax right group function this if you don't know then just take a look in the documentation so group function supported ones let's take the sum group sum and in which host group so always be careful just like in a case with the calculated items this is case sensitive and what i do suggest you to do is go to the configuration host groups uh, find your host group and just copy paste it see this is with uppercase l if i would write with the lowercase uh, linux servers it would not work so it must be case uh, exactly the same case sensitive and i will put it also in the quotes quote Linux servers and comma so second parameter the key from which I want to calculate my sum and uh, previously we talked that we're gonna take the CPU uh, load average for one minute and same story the key must match exactly so better open the host uh, find the key and just copy paste it in your aggregated key so like this and since we do have uh, brackets around it which will mislead the Zabbix definitely I will again put the quotes around it. Function again we can take a look from the documentation. Item functions average count last max min sum. So this this refers like not to the whole calculation of the host group but to the calculation of the items uh, we have three hosts with three items of system cpu load all average and which values do we want to take from every host from every this item do we want to take only one last received value or do we want to take average of this system cpu load all average one for let's say five minutes. Uh, in my example I will 
do the simple thing and take the last which means that I will take the last received value of this so in total there will be three values because I have three hosts inside Linux servers and those three values will be summed together the last parameter which is called just parameter uh, is in these brackets which means that I can ignore it and since I am using the item function dot last not the dot just simply last then I can ignore it because it will be just the last received value so I can delete this part right what else uh, the key is all set up and type of information since we're talking about a CPU load will be float uh, units there are no units and update interval I will just make it quicker for our demo uh, to the 10 seconds and we're actually good to go so we can click add I will just uh, how could I do that better uh, I will rename my 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 aggregated checks where did I actually created it oh there we go uh, all so there we go aggregated checks items one I will rename it to load average and aggregate just to be easier to show you in the latest data um, now I will open my CLI and just run Zabbix server config cache reload just to speed things up and click on this uh, check now recent check successfully so now I will do the monitoring latest data uh, within let's say all of my hosts uh, doesn't work like that so all of the host groups Linux servers and virtual machines where I have all of my hosts and uh, search for load average which will still be kind of misleading so what we did is see our aggregated checks and our three duplicated hosts epic server server one server two and we did a calculation a sum of load average one minute so 0 0.03 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 in total we have 0 0.13 right so this value is acquired from this plus this plus this and uh, if we will add a new host to our Linux servers then also they will be automatically uh, taken into account inside the aggregated checks if we will add some new host that will not have the system CPU load all average one then they will not be added if we eventually will decide to delete uh, this item key and leave only average 5 and average 15 then this item will become not supported and you will have to fix it manually if let's say you want to include another host group in the calculation you just have to manually edit your aggregated check yep and uh, that's about it so the most important things is uh, don't forget that this uh, value is calculated from the data which is already stored in the database. You are not collecting the data from the host. You are just taking it outside of the database. So if you, uh, if you need to use some pre-processing, uh, think twice before using them because if the pre-processing step was applied in the initial items that were collecting the data, then most likely you don't have to apply it on your aggregated item, right? And uh, Yep, so that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And uh, definitely see you in the next videos. Just uh, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and post any kind of the comments. And we'll definitely meet you later. Thank you and goodbye.